Okay, are you guys all filled up with food? I just fed you. Ma cat's sleeping on top of the cat house, and Stripey's on the railing, and they've eaten the food. Oh, hello, welcome. Uh, this is uh, December 31st, 2016, and this is my celebration. This is this is as exciting as it gets. Man, I wish I had a camera with a rotating screen so I could see, or wanted to work with an app on the phone so I could, but I don't. This is my Panasonic MX-7. I've got an MX-10. I think it has, I think, a screen that will rotate and come up and I can know whether I'm in the picture or not. Ah, oh, that's, uh, this morning I had, uh, Amazon Prime, is that it? Or now? It, it, it is it Amazon Now? Yeah, that's it. Had them bring about $50 worth of food. This is the third time I've used them. This time the, uh, the delivery person found the place. I didn't have to go out and uh, lead him in or anything. Going to have to be careful about what I order. Well, uh, they're Coke. I drink Coke Zero and I, I, I bought a bunch the last couple times at 99 cents and uh, this time it was a hundred or a hundred, a dollar fifty, dollar forty nine. So I didn't buy any. I bought a 20 pack instead. But I have to be careful because uh, I bought a box of crackers. Can you tell? These are a very small box of crackers. And I, I paid, I think, the price you would pay for a regular box. And we have a dollar store uh, not very far from here. Uh, one, two, two blocks maybe three, I could get a box of crackers. Might be the same size box, but I could get a box for a, for a dollar. And then also some of the, uh, I tried a few new things. This is not a very big bag either, and the first time it's uh, sweet potato fries with sea salt. Not a very big bag, and then I I just finished off this morning for breakfast some chicken strips or whatever. So I decided, and uh, again, this is not a very big. I don't know if you can tell how small it is. Not a very big. Also, apparently, conventional oven, toaster oven. Uh, you can't microwave these. Apparently, that's going to be a problem. I'll cook them in the. You know, but I'm going to have to watch. Uh, Amazon is, well, even here. Here's the, okay, same size. I got some more French fries. But I got a couple different, but all this I've had, like I had for it. I had uh, French fries for breakfast, and uh, when the guy got here, I had uh, got those, which are I've had these before, and they're good. But uh, Applegate chicken breast tenders, kind of a small box, so I'm going to have to watch that. I, it's not. Uh, I mean, it's. I didn't check the, I didn't pay attention to how many ounces. Of course, I don't know how many, like, an, I don't know how many ounces are usually in a uh, regular box of uh, eight ounces, I imagine it must be 16 ounces, it must be a regular size box. Uh, so, what are my plans for?
this evening. I don't have any special plans. I didn't get the phone call, but my uh, ex-wife got a couple automated phone calls from Fort Worth Fire Department, she said, automated, saying, please do not shoot guns off into the air that those bullets come down and can injure or kill somebody. And that is true. Every 4th of July, every New Year's, men want to be able to shoot their guns off. They want an, an excuse to shoot their guns. They just can't stand having those nice guns around there and not being able to fire some rounds off. So they use the 4th of July and New Year's. I'm holding this on the tripod. It's kind of rocky. It's their excuse. See if I can get it through the door here. There we go. So I don't really have any plans for. Don't have any plans for tonight. I thought I, you know, I could do live streaming on YouTube, just stream live, and you could visit with me. But then I'd have to have my pants on. Oh, I've been waiting. It's been taking a while. I ordered my, I told you this before, if you watch my ex-wife, I think it was a 40-inch TV, uh, started having problems with it, so she just bought a bigger one. And i not sure. I tried, we tried messing with it. It was acting up crazy. But I ordered, she did, because she didn't have one. She had a generic, uh, so I ordered a remote control for it, and I'm hoping that it uh, will actually work. I'm thinking that maybe if it was left on all the time, that would work, as long as we didn't turn it off. And I would do that. Uh, but uh, what I would do is replace this. Roku TV over here with uh, I'd put it there, hook the, have a Roku unit, another Roku unit, I'd hook that up, put it there. Uh, so, okay, close your eyes and do not look at my whiteboard here. Do not look at it. Do not look at it. Okay, you can look now. Okay. Got some laundry to put away. My ex-wife does the laundry for me. I, She has a washer and a dryer, and she lives next door. I would, uh, oops. Oh, I need more room to get through here. I'm trying to knock anything off. Don't want to knock anything off. I would do it, but she's happy to do it. I think she's afraid I'll break something, you know. So. Oh, big news. Uh, yeah. Big news. I started, I was one of the first people, I was doing videos before there was a YouTube, before there was a Google, before there was all of them. But uh, YouTube started in 2005 and I signed up immediately with them because, uh, because I signed up for everything. And uh, well, yesterday, I finally reached, after 11 years, I have 2,000 subscribers, actually it's 2002. I have 2,000 subscribers now. It took me 11 years to get there. So, what am I going to do tonight for New Year's? Actually nothing. 
working as I did security for so many, well, when I worked as a welder for 10 years, I had, you know, holidays and things off. Working security for 30 years, it seemed like I worked every Christmas, Christmas Eve, New Year's, New Year's Eve. It seemed like I worked all those. It seemed like I worked all those days. But, I mean, I worked places where I would be a location where there'd be a big fireworks show or an air show or something going on on Christmas Eve or, you know, but very different than I, I would have a view of it. Uh, but, uh, let's see here. I'm not sure how you can... I don't know whether I should. I don't have the money right now. I'm not sure if I should buy. I got to check. I think the. Let's do that now. I think this is the Panasonic LX7. I think the LX10, which is a lot of money, I think it has a screen that comes up where I would know whether I'm in the picture or not. Let's check that out. Don't touch your mouse. Okay, uh, here we are. Here's the Panasonic LX10. I've got the LX7. And the LX7 has no rotating screen, and the 10 does, so $700, so I cannot afford it, but it is what helps so much, but can't afford it. It is New Year's Eve, December 31st, 2016. What is going on on New Year's Eve? Huh, an attack in Istanbul. Istanbul. 35 killed at a Turkish nightclub. Let's see. Trump ditches the press pool again to play golf. People we lost in 2016. I think I might have mentioned before, I hate the way, at some point, CNN started doing, you know, let's see, somebody, you, you come to their site, you go to CNN, and they have this, I wonder if I can pull it up. Is it going to be it? Yeah, something like this, but it looks, it's a little bit different than this when you, just you, you hear somebody passed away or something, and you get this. And then you get some text down here telling about somebody, uh, usually with no, I mean, it's, uh, I got a feeling probably I, that what happened is somebody would die right away and people would click on the article and the picture maybe be, be the wrong picture of somebody or something. They might have made a few mistakes. I got a feeling CNN may have decided, okay, we'll just have this picture up here, you know, composite of a whole bunch of people who died. And uh, at least they should uh, do the article. TMZ, I think, pretty much, I guess if it's a celebrity, TMZ. Meshtar, William Christopher, dead at 84, okay, who played Father, okay, okay, John, Ma Father John McCockley or whatever, okay, I don't recognize, I don't, you know, but, okay, and there's, the, there you go, 
Oh yeah, he looks. He looks a lot different. Well, I guess he was younger. I I do not have any tattoos. I don't really care for tattoos. Gary Fisher fans pay tribute. Oh, that was, uh, was it Gary Fisher? That was something. I think that was by the Huffington Post. That's the gunman that opened fire in Istanbul. Trump ditches the press, sneaks off to play golf. Uh, let's see. Retired politician accused of fondling a hundred and three year old former in law. Of course, he's just accused of it. But. I don't think women should be boxing. I don't know. Okay, what I, was, what I was looking for was who, what's the name, somebody tweeted a tweet about, come on, and people took offense at it, man, I can't find it now, can't remember who it was even. Anyway, as you can see, I'm all alone on New Year's Eve, which is not unusual. So, well, let me wish you all a, I hope, I think 2016 was a crappy year. I hope 2017 is going to be better. I'm not sure I'm going to make any New Year's resolutions. I'm not going to say, you know, don't drink Coke, don't, I'm not going to say lose weight, I'm not going to try any of that. I am going to go back and, and starting in the morning on the 1st, I'm going to start testing my blood every morning. I kind of stopped for like a month, I'm going to start doing that again. Uh, Not sure what else. Maybe tomorrow I'll make a little video with some. Maybe make a video tomorrow with what I would like to see happen during 2017. It would be things that I know wouldn't or couldn't happen. You know, like changes in our political system or laws, you know, enacted or removed or stuff. I think I'll make you something like that. Anyway, thank you. Happy New Year to everybody, and uh, thank you very much for watching.